Thanks for checking out the video here today. My name is Travis Olson with AgentBreakthrough.com, home of the Automated Agent eBook, a book all about uh, building a systematic approach to real estate. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, I encourage you to uh, visit the website and take a look through there. Uh, what I want to do today, I want to cover a couple uh, a couple ways that have helped me stay a little bit more organized and go with a green initiative of um, going paperless with our real estate files. So what I've done is I've actually I'll scan uh, documents and save them in the history and top producer. So I'm going to show you how to do that here today. So feel free to uh, scan those documents in and, and quit wasting paper and printing them off. So right now I'm in top producer 8i. Um, I'm just going to go right into my inbox. One of the prefaces before getting started with, with scanning some of those documents in is you have to have your top producer email set up in there. So if you haven't done that, I would encourage you to do so. Um, it's it's nice when it's able to link up to your contacts, and, and I'll show you a couple uh, reasons why. But as you can see on this first one, I just sent myself an email that says scanned PA. So let's just pretend that this is a purchase agreement that has just closed. What I'm going to want to do so I've got my attachment here. I'm going to hit the uh, link button and I'm going to add a link. Okay, it's going to ask me to search for someone. So I'll just put it under me. And now I'm going to link it to that contact. Basically what that means is that link is going to save it in the history for that particular contact. So now you can see in my top producer email, I've now got a link here, meaning that it's linked to someone in my database. So if I click on the link, I'm now going to open up a window for that contact. So here's my contact page. Now I'm going to go to activities, and I'm going to go to completed. and now you can see that that email has been saved into my history so if I click on the description now the email information comes up it says who it was for or who it was linked to and I've got the attachment here so I can view the email I can delete the activity I can close or if I click here it's now gonna ask me what do I want to do with the attachment so I'm just gonna open it and now the entire PA is in here. So everything that pertained to the transaction is in here. Um, once we close a file, uh, I like to scan every single document we have. That way I, I always know where they are uh, and I can always go back to them. So that's a great way to be able to keep yourself organized, get rid of some of the paper in the office, that way you can find stuff quicker. I've already gone back probably about four or five times this year to look for specific documents um, for agents on our team. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a nice way to be able to always have an electronic file of those, those documents. So a couple different things you can do too. You know, we're using it so we can get rid of the completed purchase agreements, but I also use it with representation contracts. So like when a buyer signs up uh, with our team or with an agent, then I will scan all those documents in, save them to their history for that contact, and then I throw them away because I don't want to uh, run the risk of losing those uh, those documents. So, a um, couple tips on how to actually get rid of some of the clutter in your office. Hopefully, it helps. I've been using it for probably about uh, about two years now, so we're uh, we're getting lean and mean inside our office. So it's been a great tool for us. If you have any questions about this process or anything in general, feel free to email me at travis at agentbreakthrough.com. And if you're interested in taking a look at systematizing your real estate business, again, I would encourage you to check out my website, agentbreakthrough.com. I've got more training videos on there, as well as the automated agent ebook. Thanks for checking out the video here today, and I hope you have a wonderful day.